Hoosters, how y'all doing today? Oh, I'm just a little disappointed by my order. I, I should have checked it before I got out of there. But let's say prayers and I'm going to tell you how we're going to be eating. Father God, thank you for this beautiful, healthy day. This, this beautiful, healthy day. You are awesome. So thank you for looking beyond our faults and blessing us continually. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Okay, y'all. I wanted to do a lunch uh, mubang. So I wanted to do Jack in the Box because, you know, this triple this triple burger that I'm seeing and the quadruple. And uh, I wanted two of their tacos. And when I got home, I looked in my bag and they did not put my tacos in my bag. Check your stuff before you leave. Because I'm, I'm a little upset because I wanted my plate to be beautiful as I try to do. So we have some uh, Fanta grape. It don't taste like my Fanta in the can. I guess it's out the fountain so you you, you taste the bubbly. <laughs> How y'all doing today? Are y'all out today? So y'all know I'm going to do. I don't like that Fanta. I don't like that one. I got some curly fries and I got that triple burger, y'all. I don't know if I can eat that whole burger, but I'm gonna try. But uh, this was a this is a great day for me. Uh, I got a little pampered today. I think uh, everybody needs to do pampering, even the men, on them fingers and them old ugly feet. <laughs> yeah, it's just not a woman thing anymore. So go pamper yourself, you know. If you don't have the money now, just, you know. Um, ooh, oh God. <laughs> I'm going to do a mixture of ketchup and hot sauce, y'all know, for my uh, curly fries. I wanted my tacos. Shoot. I mean, I, I was, like, trying to get home fast to do them tacos. And I love Jack and Box tacos. I know y'all been eating them for... 30 years. I don't have enough food on my plate. That's what I feel like. I don't have enough food. Y'all. I want to shout out to another a subscriber. I, I guess I missed, I missed her name. Nikki. You are, you are, you are a wonderful woman. Yeah, yeah, she did a binge watch for my videos and, um, you know, she always compliments. So, Nikki, you're my girl. Thank you for subscribing. Mm hmm. Oh, I didn't do y'all first bite, did I? Hmm. Y'all want some uh, ketchup and hot sauce? Let's do it. And then, y'all will take the first bite of the burger. How about that? Here you go. Take a bite. Yum, yum. Give me some. Ketchup and hot sauce on fries is just so good to me. Y'all, I am going. I still need four more subscribers to get my 100, y'all. I don't know how, you know, if, if my um, veteran Mubangas who've been on YouTube for so long, y'all know how to grow pages. Can y'all comment below what I can do or what I'm not doing? Because I love what I'm doing with talking to y'all. Yeah. You know, we're forming relationships. Mm-hmm. Let's do this burger. I don't know why I think I'm gonna. Oh, it's got a lot of stuff on here. Look. Is that some. <clears throat> Is that the secret sauce? <laughs> Who had the secret sauce? Because Rodney Allen Whippy, didn't he used to do the, the uh, Jack in the Box commercials back in the days in the 70s? Did they have a secret sauce? Well, we could have tasted it.
Y'all know I'm a taster, huh? Y'all know I, I give. Okay. Hmm. It's three meats. It's a lot of meat. Y'all see that? It ain't bad. It's not bad at all. Will I get it again? Yep. I really will. Jack in the box I saw on the... What my best girlfriend told me last night as well, but I actually saw it with my eyes today. They have those mini tacos. They cheap. I was going to get them. And I'm thinking like, you know what? I did that with Taco Bell. With their taco, uh, taco party pack. It was like 15 tacos. I ate four. And all the rest of them went to the garbage. Even with the uh, the nachos party pack too. But the nachos was good though. I will do them nachos again with somebody else. Two of us. If not three. Because that was a lot of food. Even the 15 tacos. But you know what I, I start not to like with Taco Bell? If you're not going to eat there, by the time you, depending on how far you are from where you go buy your stuff, once you get home to do your mukbang, they, it's everything falling out the bottom. I don't like that. So, I'd rather have 15 fried tacos from Jack in the Box not knowing what their media is now. <laughs> Mm, I like this burger. And you know, it's amazing. I've never been a burger girl. But doing these move bombs, honey, you come out, you step outside your box all the time. Hmm. Take a bite. Mm -hmm. I'm stepping out my box a lot. Especially in my bank account. <laughs> you know, because I'm a penny pitcher, you know? I'm a budgeter. I set what I'm going to spend, and I don't spend no more. But shoot, doing these move bombs with the, the variety of food, mm, it's expensive. Y'all, I had three dreams last night. And I'm just going to talk about anything right now. You know, I don't, I don't have no agenda today. But you know what? I just wanted to do a a, a, a lunch mukbang. That's all. So yeah, and I and I wanted to talk to y'all. I love my platform, but I had three dreams last night, and it was all. And I think because I've been talking about it, it was all about relationships and sex. I can't tell y'all that lie. It, I mean, it was amazing that two was about a relationship. I know one thing. I know one thing, um, one of them, I was, uh, I was at a festival or something and we have a whole lot of festivals, um, coming up. I probably need to do some of them, but I was at a festival somewhere and I went to one of those, uh, food truck things, uh, the tents that was selling the food and I bought something and I was just walking back to where my Cher was, right? Man, this gorgeous man. He was a little bit taller than me, but when he opened his mouth, his teeth was just gorgeous. And he was a little taller than me because he bent down and said, my God, you're so beautiful. And I, I looked up at his teeth and I had just fell in love, y'all. And then I woke up. <laughs> well, actually, my phone went off. Yeah. So... Whoever you are, if you're on this platform, holla at your girl. <laughs> I want to know that. It tastes like the, that machine. Mm -hmm. Make you think about the slime and ice machine. Mm -hmm. Um...
I don't know why I'm stuck on relationships right now. I'm ready. It took me a long time to get ready. But I don't believe in rushing. I believe that when we be still and wait, Sometimes I think that when we're not thinking about it, it comes, you know. But for some reason, it's always in the back of my mind. I guess for some time, like when you go shopping on Saturdays and Sundays and you look to the left and the right and, and to the cars or beside you, you know, it's always a husband and wife or boyfriend, girlfriend or whatever your relationship is. It's always couples, you know, and I'm thinking like, wow. I remember those days. And for me, I think when, you know, as a couple, you know, you, you, you go and you do your shopping together, you're in the car, you're laughing, you're singing. If you have a good relationship, uh, you're holding hands, you know, your hands are resting on that console and, you know, or, you know, if you're a touchy feely person, you know, you, you just rub his hands and you play with his nails and, at the red light, you do that high school bull crap where you just reach up and kiss him on his jaw. That's what I love doing. But that's what I miss doing. Because I am that touchy-feely girl. You know, I am who I am. You know, I, I had to learn who I was. And for me, because I just can't let anybody in, I'm very careful. And it's just a few things that I look for in the beginning before we take it to any level. After the meeting, the first meeting. But for me, I am a funny girl. I love to laugh. I'm, I'm, I can do some cuckoo stuff too. I, you know, I just love happiness. Everything don't have to be serious all the time. It's okay to be silly for no reason at all. And, um... I, again, I, I'll say it again a thousand times. Olive, when I love, oh, it takes me a minute to love. Sometimes, I mean, I did meet a man that I knew at the beginning it was going to be something good. I knew it. You know, that's that instant chemistry. But I love hard. And I love deep. Because I love love. Because I know how to love from the inside out. You know, I do know how to love. And, if you know, whomever you with, you, you got to know that they worthy of all that love. Can they handle that love? You know? So, that's where I am right now. Um... I do go out and have fun. I really do. <laughs> I got a couple of rides coming up. We got, you know, because the rodeo coming to Houston. And so they have this thing called the big ride. So I think I'm going to make it to one of the, the um, spots where they're going to be. And then I got another trail ride coming up um, that my best friend said that I can stay in her RV for the weekend. And I'm thinking about that too. Uh, I'm going. I just don't know if I'm going to stay all night the whole weekend. So, um, and then there are so many dances coming up, you know, of the trail ride group dances. And those I love. I love the dances. More than anything. I used to be hard into trail riding. But I have since given some of it up, you know, because the atmosphere has changed. See, these young people coming in and they, they, they kind of ratchet. Oh, Lord. When I, my last, uh, uh, trail ride I did, it was like two months ago, or a month ago, a month and a half ago. What I saw these children doing, I'm thinking like, oh, Lord, make me want to look like this. <laughs> they were like, I'm thinking like, where your mama and your daddy? 
Woo! They ratchet. You know, you had them. They got all up on them tables doing them nasty dances and boys and girls. You think like, wow. Mm -hmm. that, that, don't they call that the millennial generation? They, they, mm -hmm. they, they something else. Mm. I was like, oh, damn. Hmm. You know, now, even though I was homeless for four years, three and a half, four years, and I think about my age group, well, you know, I had to grow up fast as well. So I, I didn't, I didn't have the childhood that everybody else had planned, you know, on the playground and, you know, ring around the rosy. But I'm thinking about us. Did we, did we, did we? Well, first of all, back in those days, you know, you heard your mom and daddy say, when they had company, in the front living room or in the den, the family room, they say you not you you are not grown. Get out of here. This is a grown folk conversation. Remember y'all remember that? Remember that mom and daddy didn't they and that grandmama say this is a grown folk conversation. Shit today. And they didn't allow you to be in there with them but they talk their grown up stuff. Hmm. Y'all hear these friend fries? These I love hard cooked fries. I'm actually loving my meal. <laughs> I think because I'm hungry too. Them, them, you know, I do them two eggs every morning. So sometimes they're whole men. Sometimes those eggs do not. Well, when I eat the whole egg with the yolk, it, it'll do. It'll hold me okay. When I just eat the white of the egg and throw that yolk away, that don't hold me. <laughs> but today. We got these uh, fifteen year olds, these fifteen year olds and these fourteen year olds, and they oh, they carrying on something wild. You don't wonder why next year they pregnant or uh, aborting a baby or something. Mm -hmm. Things have changed. Oh, but look. Hmm. I'm glad to be with y'all in this noon day. Oh, it's not noon day. We're in, in here where I am, it's uh, 1.40 uh, Central Standard Time. And so this is going to be my, I'm going to say this is my lunch because, you know, I'm doing leftovers tonight. Do y'all mind me doing leftovers? Because I tell you, that low ball last night was rocking and kicking and knocking. It was so good. And I'm not throwing that away. But look, I love y'all. Thank y'all for joining me today a, 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 with this one and only hood girl too. Mm -hmm.